And in this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can convert our React application to a progressive web application. So in the previous one, we built the application and now in this one, we'll serve it using the serve command and then we'll point to the build directory. Now this one will open it up in localhost 5000 and then we'll open that particular website using control and click and then here as it's open now we'll press the developer tool options you'll find audits over here now if you go to audits you can generate report for this by making use of this button so let's click on that and generate a report and this is basically built-in lighthouse tool that comes in a google chrome developer console and here it's going through set of activities and finally I will present us a report so here you can see the performance wise accessibility wise best practices and SEO all these are coming up in good numbers but the progressive web app is kind of offline and uh, it does not have any number to it so let's go ahead and see what exactly this is requesting us to do now over here you'll see a couple of options like current page does not respond with a 200 when offline and start url does not respond with a 200 when offline now in order to fix these issues what we need to do in our application we first of all have to go to this index.js file and there you'll notice this service worker now service workers are basically used to ensure that your application works even when they're offline and to do that over here it's pretty easy we just need to uncomment this thing like from unregister to register save this and ensure that your application is built again using npm run script build command and once that's done the build will be ready and we'll again serve the website so here i'll do the same serve again so minus s and then build command now here once it's opened up let's click control click over here and uh, you can see we are now opening up another report let's go ahead and see is there any improvement now when we generate this report now now you can see that these two issues have been resolved like current page responds with a 200 when offline and start your response with a 200 when offline and uh, other items are also in green now so next thing what we need to do is over here you can see the title of the application is coming up as react app and now we go to application and then inside the service worker we'll check this offline and what will happen with this is that the whole web page will go in offline mode and now if i reload this page let's see what happens so you can see that here the title remains the same but everything else like the images that were coming from website are now showing failed over here as you can see in the network tab so in order to resolve this what we'll do is we'll cache these images in our application and how we'll do that that will be part of the next lecture